Hi, in this video we'll learn how to add mixed fractions with unlike denominators. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to convert this mixed fraction into fractions. So let's do that. To convert this mixed fraction into a fraction, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this whole number with the fraction's denominator. So 2 times 3 gives me 6. And then whatever you get, you add that to the numerator. So 6 plus 1 is going to give me 7. So I'll write 7 in my numerator, and then we don't change the denominator. So denominator is going to be 3. I have the plus sign in between. Then I'm going to convert this mixed fraction into a fraction. So again, we're going to multiply this whole number with the fraction's denominator. So 7 times 2 gives me 14. And then we add that to the numerator. 14 plus 1 is going to give me 15. So I'm going to write 15 in the numerator. And then we don't change the denominator. So the denominator is going to be 2 here. Now you can see that I have different denominators. And you cannot add the fractions which has different denominators. You need the denominators to be same. So in order to make the denominator same, what we need to do is we need to multiply both the fractions by something. So I'm going to put the multiplication sign here and put the multiplication sign here because I know that I need to multiply both the fractions by something to make the denominators equal. Now what do I multiply? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this fraction with the other fraction's denominator. So you multiply each fraction with the other fraction's denominator. So when I'm multiplying this fraction, I'm going to look at this fraction's denominator, which is 2. That means I have to multiply this fraction by 2 over 2. And see, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 1 times 7 third is going to be 7 thirds. So basically, you didn't change the value of this fraction at all, right? Now, we're going to do the same thing with this fraction. We're going to multiply this fraction by the other fraction's denominator. So the other fraction denominator is 3. That means we're going to multiply this fraction by 3 over 3. So basically, 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 1 times 15 over 2 is still going to be 15 over 2. So we didn't change the value of fraction at all. But why I'm doing this is because I want the denominators to be equal. So now all I need to do is multiply my numerator with the numerator and denominator with the denominator. So see, 2 times 3 gives me 6, right? And then 2 times 7 gives me 14. I got this. Now plus, I'm going to multiply the denominator with the denominator. So 2 times 3 gives me 6. And 15 times 3 is going to give me 45. And now you can see that I have the same denominator. So this is the shortcut uh, to make the denominators equal. Now, what I did is I just multiplied this fraction by the other fraction's denominator. So I looked at this fraction's denominator, it was 2, and I multiplied my fraction by 2 over 2. And the same thing I did with this fraction. I looked at the other fraction's denominator, I saw that it's 3, and then I multiplied um, this fraction by 3 over 3. Right? And remember that whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do the same thing to the numerator because you need to balance the fraction. You can't just uh, multiply the denominator by 3 to make it equal to 6. You will have to do the same thing to the numerator as well because basically we're just generating the equivalent fractions here. Now, I got the same denominators, right? So I can go ahead and add my fractions. Now, when you add the fractions, you never add or subtract the denominator so the denominator is still going to be 6 and we're going to add the numerator 14 plus 45 is going to give me 59 so I got 59 over 6 since we got the improper fraction my numerator is greater than the denominator I will have to convert this into a mixed fraction by using the long division method so I'm going to divide 59 by 6 let's do that 6 will go into 59 9 times 6 times 9 is 54, so I'm going to write 54, and then we're going to subtract. 9 minus 4 gives me 5, and 5 minus 5 is 0. Now, I need to write this answer in the form of mixed fraction, so I'm going to use my uh, quotient. I'm going to use my remainder and the divisor. Now, when you write the mixed fraction, you should have a whole part and the fractional part. See, this is a mixed fraction. You have the whole number, and you have the fractional part. The same thing I need for uh, writing this into the mixed fraction, so I'm going to use my quotient. Uh, that becomes my whole part, so I'm going to write 9. And then remainder becomes my fraction's numerator, and divisor becomes my fraction's denominator. So my final answer is going to be 9 and 5 sixths. I hope you feel comfortable in adding mixed fractions with unlike denominators now. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.